Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I have a Louis Vuitton unboxing for you. I actually have two items to share. One of the items I've had for a few weeks now, and the other one I just picked up in my recent shopping vlog. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure to do so. These are two pieces that I think are gonna be really, really useful, and I can't wait to share. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you wanna see what I picked up from Louis Vuitton, then keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to reveal each item and I'm also gonna share with you how I use the item and what fits. So in case you guys have been interested in what fits or how to use these items, then hopefully this video will be helpful for you. So let's go ahead and let's start with the little guy right here. And I'm pretty sure when I open this, it's gonna come as no surprise. So I know that I share this with you guys a lot, but all of my Louis Vuitton items I usually get from the Louis Vuitton within Bloomingdale's because I use my Bloomingdale's credit card and I can get rewards. Um, I think if you spend a certain amount, you get a $25 reward. So usually I might have a $25 reward or a $50 reward, but a lot of times I will put that towards this. Every little bit helps. And then for Chanel, I try to shop at Neiman Marcus because you know I can get the rewards there as well. So okay, so let's get to this item. The item I picked up, and there is a story for everything. You know that. There's a story for everything. The item that I got, and this is going to come as no surprise. It's the first time I've seen it. Oh, my goodness. It is prettier than I thought. Oh, my goodness. It is the Louis Vuitton Rosalie in the Emprunt Leather, and this is in the color Rose Poudre. Oh my goodness. You guys know my fascination and my love for the Rosalie. This is one of the best compact wallets ever, and stick around because I do plan on sharing with you how I'm gonna use this. But I have such a love affair with this wallet. I love it so much. I actually think I did a video that this is my favorite wallet and I broke it down. So if you guys are curious about this wallet, make sure to check it out. This is also not only a functional wallet, but it's also more affordable for Louis Vuitton. Obviously the monogram is a lot more affordable. The Emprunt version is a little more expensive because of the leather. It comes in at $490, but it is so functional. So let's break it down. So this one is in the color Rose Poudre. You can see it is the monogram Emprunt leather. So beautiful. It has this gold snap closure and the back does not have a pocket. That would make it even better if it had a pocket, very similar to the Zoe wallet. If this had a back pocket, that would be amazing. So this wallet, you open it, and this one in particular, this is made in Spain. And I'm not sure if the pink color is picking up, so I will insert an overlay, uh, just so you guys can really get a good view in the daylight of what this pink looks like. But the way this wallet works is you have a little zip compartment here, and this is where you would keep your change. Yes, I do still carry coins. And then on the inside, there is a little compartment here where you can put a card. There is a compartment here for a card, and then there is a slot in the back. So I have gone over this before, but the way that I typically use this is I will put change here, I will put cards here, and then I will fold up cash and put that in the back, and I will share that with you when I do spin the camera around and kind of show you how I'm gonna use it. But if you guys are interested, the number for this is M81520. Such a little functional piece. I'm so excited about this. So let me spin the camera around really quickly, and I just wanna share with you guys how I usually use it so you can kind of get an idea of whether or not this will fit into your lifestyle. Okay, here is the beautiful Rosalie. You can see the gorgeous monogram Emprunt leather. This leather is so supple and flexible. I just absolutely love it. So I wanted to share with you really quickly just how I use this. So this ideally is good for someone who loves to carry cards. Obviously it is a compact wallet, so you have to keep that in mind. You're not gonna be able to carry everything, but I do find this super functional. So you open it up, there is this little spot in here where you can carry change. Keep in mind, this will get dirty if you use it for change. I do have the monogram with the Rose Valerine interior. It does get a little dirty, but it's not a huge deal because these are meant to be used. So let me just show you, I'll just put a little bit of change in here, but it does fit a good amount. 
zip it up like that. And you can see there's a compartment here, a compartment here. I don't use either one of those. What I do is I just take my cards. I just have five gift cards here, but this can probably fit, I would say maybe like 10 or maybe even more. But I'm just gonna put five in here so you can kind of see, like see there's still so much space. So I would say this fits maybe 10 plus comfortably. And it's really nice because you can just like easily pull your cards out. Like, oh, here you can see I have a Food Lion gift card, just pull that out. And I just love that it makes it really easy. Okay, so it can fit a bunch of cards comfortably. You have a place for your coins. Now your cash. So I just have about, let's see, $8. I will just fold the bills in half. You can either fold it in half or you can fold it in um, twos, but I just like to put it in the back right there and you see how it fits. So you can have a little bit of cash, cards, and then you have a place for your coins. And closes nicely and you can see it is still relatively thin. So I love this wallet. Like I said, it's definitely geared to someone who carries a lot of cards, but I love this. Such a good functional wallet. So if you are looking for a good compact wallet, I would highly recommend this one. Again, it is also priced relatively well for Louis Vuitton since all the prices have been going up. But look at that beautiful pink. One thing I think I forgot to mention to you guys is I had initially purchased the beautiful turquoise. I will pop a picture up on the screen, but when I got it, it wasn't like I thought. I thought it was gonna be more of a Tiffany blue, so I did end up returning that one, and I'm so glad I got the pink, because I'm just, I've been a pink lover lately, and this is so pretty. So yes, as you can see, definitely fits a lot. Okay, so that was the first item that I picked up. Such a functional piece. I think this is going to be so great in my collection and it's in pink and you guys know I have been on a pink kick lately if you've checked out my recent videos. So now we come to this little guy. So this is an item as well that I have wanted for a long time but I just wanted to put a little research into it to kind of figure out which one I wanted to get. So undo this and same I got this from Bloomingdale's as well actually because I bought both of these I have another rewards rate waiting for me so that is always a nice treat okay so you open up the box tissue paper dust bag and the item I got is the yay it is the Louis Vuitton this is the desk agenda cover not the three ring agenda this is the desk agenda cover so I have it in the Damier Aben. I was torn between this or the monogram, but I just have, I love the Damier Aben print. I think it's so pretty. So let me share with you what it looks like. This is the Damier Aben canvas. And then you open it up on the inside here and you can see what it looks like. This is nice because it has a compartment for your papers, for your cards. So there's a little compartment here, compartment here. Uh, there are some little compartments here that you can put like credit cards if you want. The reason that I ended up going for this one, couple reasons. Number one, this pr the price for this one was $620, which is still steep, but compared to the three ring agenda, that was so much more expensive. And the thing I like about this, I think it's going to be a little more versatile because I can put a lot of different things in it so you can see it has these slots right here so i like to every year buy a notebook from home goods and they're really affordable there um some of them are under 10 bucks and, and they also ha they have either the notebooks or they have the agendas so what i plan on doing is getting like a little notebook just kind of putting the sleeve on the inside here and then that way every year i can buy a new one now I would love to buy the inserts from Louis Vuitton, but A, they're sold out everywhere, and B, they are quite pricey. So I just thought that this one would work best for my lifestyle. Now, I think I mentioned to you guys that I had been wanting something like this for a long time because I want it dedicated for YouTube. I love YouTube. It is my hobby. It is very special to me. So I wanted to have a special notebook where I could keep all of my video ideas the dates that I post, you know, any outlines I have for my YouTube videos. And I, I thought this would be very useful and very helpful. So what I want to do, let me go ahead and spin the camera around. And I will kind of show you like my idea of how I plan on using this.
Okay, so I thought I would film this portion of the video at my actual desk. So some of you might know that I converted a little spot in my bedroom to a little office space, and this is what I dedicate to my YouTube videos. I will insert the thumbnail of the video I did in case you wanted to check that video out. But I thought this would be a perfect place to film this portion because this is where I usually work and do all my YouTube stuff. So let me show you how I plan on using this. As I stated, I think it's going to be really, really versatile. So there are so many different ways to do it. And as I've been using it for a while, I can certainly do an update or maybe even like a dedicated video. But to start, if you want, you can use these slots if you want to use it for your credit cards. I don't think I'm going to do that. The way I think I'm going to do it, I'm going to use it for planning and keeping track of my YouTube videos. So I went ahead and I went to Target and I bought this little agenda. This is a 2022-2023 agenda and you can see it is monthly and then it is also believe it's weekly as well. Yep. It's weekly as well. So what I'm probably going to do, this is where I keep track of my videos and where I kind of plan my videos. And then over here, this is where I put like the videos that I'm scheduled to film. And then I check them off as I do them. And then if I need any specific notes on each day, I can put that there. So you can just get this agenda from Target. I will find this agenda and I will link the exact one down below. But the nice thing about this is you can really get any type of notebook or agenda as long as it fits in here. Just take the back sleeve, pop it in there. And so that is the first part and you can see it fits in there, but I'm not done. I also need a spot for notes. So I have this little notebook. I got this from Home Goods. You know how much I love Home Goods. It came in a pack of three, but this just has, um, blank pages on it. So this is what I use to kind of keep track of any notes for any of my videos, whether I need an outline or whether I just want to jot down video ideas, I'm going to put on here. So what I'll do is I will just pop this part into the cover there so that it looks like that. So it kind of, that's kind of how it looks. Now, another really nifty thing that I found on Amazon, because I was looking through Amazon at like different things, and you guys can go to Etsy too. There are so many good things on Etsy as well. I still have to kind of figure out how I'm going to get organized, but one thing I knew I needed was a pen. And I saw this little guy on Amazon. It's an adhesive and it has a little pen loop here. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do this together. I think I'm gonna put it right here. So then that way the pen, let me measure the pen here. If I put the pen in, it'll be right there. So all you have to do is you have to take the, hold on a sec. Okay, I chipped my nail a bit, but you just have to take the adhesive off here and put this where you want it. And I'm going to put this right here, right below the credit card spot, just in case I want to use that. And then you can just take your pen and put it in there and then close it like that. So now you can see I have my note section, I have my agenda, I have my pen, and there you go. So that's how I'm going to organize it now. But let, like I said, you can go to Etsy, you can go to Amazon. There are so many different ways to organize it. It, it kind of depends on what you need. Like if you're someone that doesn't want notes, you don't have to use notes. If you just want the agenda, if you want to use separate books for separate things, but I like having everything in one place. So I think this is going to be how I'm going to use it. And I am really excited about it. So I will link the agenda. I will link the notes. I will also link this agenda and then the little um, adhesive pen loop. It was only like six bucks. And like I said, they had all different colors. So that is how I'm going to set it up.
Okay guys, so there you have it. These are my two new Louis Vuitton items. Of course, the Rosalie and the Empron in the beautiful rose poudre is gonna be so functional. And then I am so happy to have this desk agenda cover. I just love the fact that I'm gonna be able to have something special for my YouTube items. And as you can see, I think it's gonna be really functional. So if you want, um, after I've had this for a while, I can do a review. Another reason I opted for the agenda cover is you guys might be familiar, I do own own the Louis Vuitton agenda in the small size that is the three ring so I didn't want to get another three ring because that one I like it's the pocket agenda I use that like in my purse and stuff so this one was a lot more affordable as well but like I said I think this one is going to be a lot more functional and another thing I wanted to mention too if you get this I know Etsy has all sorts of like inserts you can also find inserts on Amazon you know whatever you want or just go to home goods standard a5 no book will fit in this just as an FYI and I don't know if I gave you the measurements so let me give you the measurements on this 9.06 inches by 7.09 so it's it's pretty sizable so yeah so thank you guys so much for joining me if you guys own either one of these I would love to know your thoughts or I would love to know how you use it you guys are so creative and I love hearing your feedback so thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well have a wonderful day you guys and I'll see you in my next video Wish me the